Thank you very much, Sean. We're a few days into October now. That means we're in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And here in Northeast Ohio, two organizations are teaming up to help provide a free pain relief treatment for patients who qualify. Meg Shaw joins us live this morning from Metro Health with more on how it works and also how you can get involved. Good morning, Meg. Hey, good morning to you, Danita and Kevin. Yeah, so this research is part of, or this treatment, excuse me, is part of a research program, a collaborator, collaboration between Metro Health Hospital and Case Western Reserve University. Now, we talked to one patient who went through this therapy, and she said not only did this help her physically, but mentally as well. Talina Morales says two years ago, her entire life changed. I was diagnosed two years ago at the age of 30. Um, and uh, I am two years in remission. Morales underwent surgery after receiving her diagnosis. But like many women who undergo breast cancer surgery, she had quite a bit of pain after. I had a lot of nerve damage uh, caused by the surgery as well as uh, a lot of basically like not stability in my arm. The now 32 year old started participating in the clinical trial from Metro Health and Case Western Reserve University earlier this summer. The two are researching post-surgical scar tissue release after breast surgery called myofascial release. And they're randomized to one of two groups, uh, the, the myofascial groups who gets this deep tissue fascial release um, and then a light touch group. And of course, um, you know, we wish everybody could get the uh, intervention, but um, as, as we're trying to just really test this out in a, in a, in a true uh, scientific fashion. The goal is for those who have chronic pain and immobility after breast cancer surgery and reconstruction, an opportunity to live a normal functioning life without pain as a constant reminder of having cancer. The 20 women who received the deep tissue, like Morales, say it worked. It really not only helped me physically, but it really helped me stabilize my mental health and, and giving myself that hope that I that I lost when I was diagnosed. Jeannie Massengill is a licensed massage therapist. She's worked for 17 years to develop this massage technique therapy. This is a hard thing for women to go through. It's devastating. So to be able to contribute to having them be well, that's it's, it's an indescribable feeling to your heart. It's just great. Metro Health and Case started small with just 40 women total in the pilot research program, but they're ready to offer it to even more women. Our goal is to recruit 200 women over the next three years. All right, so if you learn, you'd like to learn more about this treatment to see if you qualify, we're gonna be adding this information for you on our News 5 app as well as our website. Reporting live in Cleveland, I'm Meg Shaw on News 5. And experts say the best way to catch breast cancer early is with regular mammogram checks. As of October 1st, the FDA says more than 38 million people have had their breasts examined so far this year. But that's still about 670,000 less than last year. Many people might have pushed back those mammograms because of the pandemic. But the CDC says prolonged screenings could lead to delayed diagnoses, poor health consequences, and an increase in cancer disparities among women already experiencing health inequities. Now, there are several places in Cleveland that offer free mammograms, including the Cleveland Clinic Langston Hughes Center, the Broadway Health Center, and the Metro Health West 150th Health and Surgery Center. We're going to put more information for you on our News 5 app. 636 now on your Monday.